In this video, we're going to talk about how to publish data to Aviva Online Insight. You know, these days, any Wonderware piece of software has built-in connectors that can automatically be configured to pump data to Online Insight, whether it's system platform via the historian, or it's classic InTouch or InTouch Edge, or even an I.O. server has the ability through the downloadable publisher to be able to connect to any PLC or any OPC UA device and stream that data to Online Insight. But let's say you have some other data that does not have Wonderware components installed. Let's say it's a laboratory information system or a LIM system that you want to take some of that data and do some correlation between your laboratory tests and your process data. We have the ability to upload some CSV data to Online Insight. So let's take a look and see how that's done. So what you're seeing on the screen is an example dashboard showing some process data. We can even embed some graphics nowadays onto the Insight dashboards. We can see some utilization information, equipment status, so we can even show OEE type data. So a lot of information can be viewed on the Online Insight and we can use a lot of different data sources to get the data up there that we talked about. But let's specifically drill in and how we can get CSV data up to Online Insight. So the data you're seeing on the screen here was data that was actually uploaded via a CSV file. So let's take a look at how that was configured. So if we go into the administration tab here and we go to data sources, these are some of the data sources that were already created that we used to create those pages. So if we want to create a new data source, we hit add here. It's a JSON CSV type data and I'll call it my CSV data and I say OK. I can also enter a location if there's a location associated with data. So basically what you have to do here is we can copy this bearer token. This is going to be used when we pump the data up there. So I'm going to copy that into my clipboard. We also download a sample file. So I'm going to download a wide CSV file and that file is going to give us the format that we need to be able to configure the upload data. So you can see the data needs to be in this format, the date time column, and then your tag names if I'm using the wide format, and then the actual raw data being pushed in there. Um, keep in mind this time is in Greenwich Mean Time, so be aware of that. So now we need to trigger a REST method to pump the data up to Wonderware Online. So basically I'm using a PowerShell script here, and I'm doing an invoke REST method. And this is the URL that we're going to link to. That's the online URL. And then this is the CSV file that's formatted in the proper format. And then the content type is text.csv. This file doesn't seem to make a difference, but it's needed in the formatting of the REST method. And then here's that bearer token that we copied from the clipboard here. And the authorization, and this is not a spelling error. You need to have bearer, bearer in here twice and you can see the bearer token is listed there and then there is basically a method of post. So execution of this command will take what's ever in that CSV file and pump it up to Online Insight. So again, here is the invoke rest method to the URL of the Wonderware Online Insight and then pointing to your CSV file and then include your bearer token that you copied from the previous example. And then once you do that, you'll be able to see that data on the online application. So here's another trend file that we have up there on the online insight. This is another example of some of the raw CSV data that was pumped up using that invoke rest method to get that external data up to Wonderware Online Insight. Well, thank you for watching today. If you have any questions about what you saw in this video, please contact me at the email address on the screen. Thanks again.